On today's Tech Monday, I am gonna show you how you can use your Mac to easily convert a bunch of large TIFF and RAW files right over to JPEG. No special software needed. everyone and welcome to Pal to Tech. If you're like me and you work with and edit your photos on a Mac, you probably save a final version of your photo or image in a layered TIFF or perhaps a Photoshop file format. And that format is great if you want to keep it in archive and perhaps come back to it at a later time and make additional edits to your image. Okay, in this example, I've got a few images. You see that? One is a Photoshop document. A few of them are Fujifilm mirrorless camera raw files. And I've got a few TIFF files as well. And have a look at this right here. The file sizes are really large. So let's say I want to post this image on my website. It's currently this TIFF file right here. If I go and try and add this image using the editing tools in say Squarespace for example. If I click upload images and I go to select that file, eh, file size limit exceeded. You see that? So the first problem is it's too big. Suppose instead I want to post it on Instagram. If I click select from my computer, if I try and select the file, I get this message, file type not supported. And that's just a TIFF. It gets even worse with other formats like Photoshop or RAW files. Now, to solve this problem, I could certainly open up Photoshop, bring the original TIFF back into Photoshop, and then export it out as a JPEG. That would work. But I may not want to deal with that hassle. Well, suppose you don't want to purchase yet another third-party program to batch convert them for you. Well, Help us here. I have a much faster and easier way that will cost you absolutely nothing. Let me show you. Okay, so here I have <laughs> some photos in this folder. Now on the Mac, I can see what they are in the thumbnail view. But again, if I try and upload these directly to social media or perhaps to my website, they're going to be either too large or the file type is not compatible. So instead of having to open up each one in a program like Photoshop and then export them back out, watch this. So first you simply select the photos that you wanna to convert to JPEG just like that. Then select open with and choose preview app. You see that right there? That's the app that comes free with your Mac. Once you have them opened in preview app, you will see them on the left side right here. Next, you wanna select all of them. Click the first one, hold down shift, click the last one so that they're all selected. Then you wanna to go to file, export selected images and choose options. From here, you can choose JPEG or other formats as well. Go ahead and select JPEG, and you can keep the quality as the default. However, if you wanna make the file size smaller and you don't mind reducing some of the quality, you can toggle this slider, you see that? And it changes the file size. I'm gonna go ahead and accept the defaults and click choose, boom. That's it, and you will see them right here. There's one, there's two, there's three. You can sort them by kind as well. There they are, there's our three JPEGs. Now if I go to Instagram and click on add, select from computer, choose one of the JPEGs and boom, it works perfectly. Now this will also work with Photoshop format and Fujifilm RAW files. Watch, I'll select these, right click, open with, and I'll choose preview. There they are, select all of them, file, export selected images, and you're gonna see this error message, which is why I wanted to show it to you. If you are mixing different file types, for example, you're mixing TIFFs with Photoshop, with Fujifilm RAW files, you're gonna possibly run into this problem. The free preview app on your Mac generally prefers to convert all of the same type of image. So for example, instead of selecting the Photoshop file and the RAW files, I can just select the RAW files and open them up, select them, file, export, and I'm good to go. Where I see this being really useful would be on these one-off image conversions. For example, I can quickly right-click this Photoshop document, open with, preview, boom, file, export, and here I choose export, and now it's automatically saving it as a JPEG. And there's my JPEG right here. There's my Photoshop version. The other benefit of this technique would be if you had an entire folder filled with say 50 TIFF images, and you wanted to quickly get 50 JPEGs from that, and you didn't want to hassle with Photoshop or anything else, you could use this method as a one-stop place to do that. Just select them all, right-click, open with preview, 
there they are. Export selected images, and you can save them right back to that folder. Choose JPEG as your option, boom. And here they all are, right here. Now obviously this way of doing it gives you limited options on file compression and no real way to edit your photos. But if you want a fast, simple, free, and straightforward way to get a bunch of JPEGs, I think this is a great way to do it on a Mac. Well that's it! We are all done! And I hope you found the video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I'll see you again in a new video very soon. Take care.